Hello once again, and this is J. Ashley Spencer. Hello, J. Ashley Spencer here. J. Ashley Spencer. This is J. Ashley Spencer. J. Ashley Spencer, and. Hello, and this is J. Ashley Spencer, and this is my review of the Leap Stingray. Um, I don't actually have a place to put this. I'll, I'll be back actually. Okay, so I've, I've actually managed to find a little thing that I can put it on. So this is the Leech Stingray. Um, not gonna lie, this is, I use it as a backup filter. It is absolutely golden, I love it. It's so like easy, it's, it's so weird like, um, as I, I use this right at the top of the fish tank so. I normally have this bit sticking out. You can have it fully submerged, but I normally use it as a sort of like, so I have my big filter, that's the main one, and I use that as just cleaning the tank, basically, or cycling the water around. But this, I use it as a disturbance on the top, so it doesn't leave that water flat. It gives it way more oxygen, having this, and it's another cleaning thing, so it's, it's perfect, really. Um, Basically, you can take this thing completely apart, as, as I've uh, found out. Um, uh, right, so that comes up there. Basically, these things can come out, but it is abs it's really hard to get these out. Like, Okay, this one can come out, but this this side is so much more harder to sort of like take out. So th this is basically the shell. This is basically the main piece. In here you've got some like media, like some little stones to catch quite a lot of that algae. I do recommend when you clean it, just completely take it apart. Just completely apart. I normally run these under the tap. I'll get a bowl of water and just solution through, run on the tab, solution through, just to get all that, all that stuff out. I normally suffer with the brown type of algae, and that is, that's the worst thing. So, yeah. And then we got the main skeleton bit. Uh, I need to fit this in. Make sure I've done it before. I actually put this upside down, and it took ages to get out. So you have to have this little lip thing at the top, and then. Okay, that, that didn't even go in. Make sure you actually put it in the right place. So it fits into. It doesn't fit like that, Joe. How's, how's this messing up so much? There we go. So it fits in like that. Sweet, cool. Uh, the next part. Uh, that's just the. That's literally just a face. But let's not do that yet. Alright, so this is the bottom bit. Comes with a sponge and then this little guard. It kind of looks like a, uh, a knight's face guard or something. But yeah, so this is where the water like sort of passes through, passes through this sponge. It isn't that much media in here. It's just this sponge, that sponge. It kind of fits on like that, and then these two little things. It comes out the front. So yeah. Um, yeah. So it comes out the front. So basically. As I was saying, basically with this you get uh, the sponge and then this little guard. And then that fades in, or oh, fits in like this. Push it right to the end. Try and fill in as much space. Was that right? It's a really awkward shape, basically. <laughs> like a mega awkward shape. You have to fit in the best way, so. I'll just have it like that. Uh, so he, Next up, we'll grab this. So this is the actual main unit. I don't know how to fully take this apart. It looks like there's a bit here that you can try and clip, but I don't know. Nah, I'm not gonna try it. Screw up my, screw up my hands. But yeah, um, so this is the main bit. See, it isn't that powerful. This can also come off here, so you can like actually get in there, take this out, clean in there, clean this, and yeah. Magnetized on there, it's all filters on. I do recommend proper cleaning this out, sort of thing. 
This is just your like water past the sort of thing. Yeah. I wouldn't rely heavily on this as your main filter, but that's what I'm gonna do in my tank. If you see my previous video, that is literally what I'm gonna do with this. So yeah. So this just fits in like this. And it clicks into place. Well, I think it has clicks into place. And then yeah, you have this. Next we are going to Next, we're going to fit this in here. So this literally just slides into here, just like that. Cool. Then we will put, we'll just put this in. So before I was just like, oh yeah, it definitely fits like that, but it actually fits way better, way more snug. Okay, that's just come off like that. But um, yeah, it fits way better like this. So yeah. And then all we do is get this, and there's two little clips either side. Two little clips either side. And then you may need to stretch it out. But we will go there. Hopefully I don't break it. We'll go in there. Sort of like, you have to play around with it a bit. Okay, I know where I've gone wrong. What have I? Oh. Right. You do have to play around with it a bit. That's all goes like that. That should be in. The tail went is a bit like shaky sort of thing, but yeah. Make sure that's all completely clicked in. Cool. I would give this uh, filter, as a filter itself, I wouldn't give it that high of a score, but as a backup filter, I'd definitely go, I'd say a 4 out of 5 sort of thing, or like a 7 out of 10. It isn't the best, but it'll get your like, job done. If you have another filter in there, it's a great support sort of thing, so it boosts your filter up, basically. And yeah, I think it's a great sort of like thing. Put it at the top and then yeah. So I'll just do a little demo and then yeah. So uh, I'm just going to say it here. Please give me a like, subscribe, share, check out my other videos. Because then you'll be seeing the drama of folding. And uh, I'm going to do a review on my big, big filter. Probably not right now. Uh, I'll give it a bit of time. Uh, I might do it now. But yeah, I'm going to do a review on that, and then, yeah. So it's been Jay Ashley Spencer. Please give me a like, subscribe, share, check out my other videos, and goodbye, my friends. Bye. So this is literally what it is. Two biches in here. They just look like they're on that. Like, they just look like they're going to die, basically. Hopefully this filter does work, sort of thing, but... I don't know. I really don't know. I can't go in there because I just need to clean that out. And with this amount of space, I just can't. I can't get anywhere with it. So it's the only real space I can go. The Karami tank is probably worse. Like I'm just waiting for my mate to actually do his tank because most of his fish are dead. I don't want all my fish to die basically. So yeah. Alright, let's let's submerge this in. It's gonna be a really awkward way to do this. I suppose I can <laughs> I'm just like trying to laugh about that at all. I'm not trying to laugh, I'm trying to put my mind off the actual situation. But the fact is, like, at least I can kind of stay true to like, sort of like Game of Thrones sort of thing. I have have one of my little dragons turn into turn into our ice dragon, or as we're gonna have an albino dragon. So yeah, sorry for the camera work. I'm, I'm one man. I'm only one man. Uh.
Um, basically, it's so it's so cramped here. I can't wait until my room's done. Like this is. See, before I was just like, I can't wait to like move in, but. Before I was just like, can't wait to move in. But right now, I can't wait because the state of these fish, basically. Right, so that's running. You can see the bubbles coming out. Hopefully that clears the water off even more. I'm gonna put that plant back in, which is in the bath at the moment. But yeah, hopefully that does something. I'm gonna stick some, some like sponge in there so the bubbles can still travel through. But so that the fish can't actually go in there because I'm scared for the little one and the other bisho and the breed fish. But yeah, this tank isn't made for big fish. Let me get that clear. And next I have to deal with my little bow fish. Which I can't actually film, but yeah. Hopefully that clears up a little bit more. But we only have to wait about it's about a week. Week and a bit now. So yeah. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Bye.